Hello the internet, my name is Dean and welcome back to another Ruby on Rails tutorial. Uh, previously I covered using active storage for image uploads, but I had a couple comments from people asking how to validate the image uploads. So we're going to cover that today. As usual I've started up our basic Rails server and you can see I'm running Rails version 5.2 and that's about all that I've done. Uh, we're going to start off by generating a scaffold again and we're gonna call it pin with a title and a body of type text. You don't need to specify string for the title. And then we're gonna run this generator. And while that's running, we can come over to our app, assets, style sheets, and delete the scaffolds.scss. Uh, and then we can do rails active underscore storage colon install to install the active storage components that we need. And once all that's done, we can do a Rails DB colon migrate. And we can come over to our config, routes.rb, and we'll set the root to colon and then the pins index. And now if we start the server, we should see that we get sent to the index page of our application. So we can create a new pin, we can give it a title and a body and that's all working as expected. Uh, let's start by setting up the active storage. For that, we're gonna go into the pin model or the model of whatever you just generated. And we're gonna say has underscore one underscore attached colon, and we'll just call it image. After that, we can come up to our controller, the pins controller and scroll down and at the bottom inside the permit, we'll say permit the image as well as the title and the body. So now if we refresh, nothing should change, but the server should hopefully work. Hopefully. Okay. So what we can do now is come into our views, pins, form, and below the title, but above the body, we'll do a div with a class of field. We'll say form.label image and then form.file underscore field image. And we'll close that Ruby code. So now we can hit new pin, we can give it a title, and we can attach an image. And now if we come into our pins show page, again, below the title, but above the body, we'll just say image tag at pin.image. and that's working. So what we can do if we want to um, set up the validations is we can first make sure that we're validating the presence of the title in the body. So for that, we can come over to the pin.rb model and we can just say validates col colon title presence true. And then we can copy that paste it, and change this to body. So now if we try to submit this, we should get an error, which we do. But we don't have the image validated yet. And the way to do this, unfortunately, unfortunately, is with a custom call because of how the uh, active storage works. It doesn't have image validation yet, which means we do have to do a bit of work here. So we're going to make a custom method here. We'll just call it um, image, correct image type, I think is what I called it last time. And we can just come down to the private. We'll do a def and then we'll call this the same thing that we did up there. Type and so we have a couple options here. We can either validate the image extension type, or we can just check if the image is null. And the way to do that after some digging around was with if image, uh, image dot attached question mark. And this will return true if there is an image attached. So if I just hit choose file and I put anything in there, if anything is attached, then this will be true. And then we need to also check if the image is not of content type in this expression. So for this, we need to pass it an image slash JPEG if we want it to check for JPEGs. 
and an image slash PNG if we wanted to check for PNGs. So if both of those conditions are not, or if this condition's true and there's an image attached, which means that this image check won't return nil, then we know that we have an image and that the image, is, or we have a file and that the file is of the type that we expect it to be. So for that, if these two aren't true, we can just say errors.add um, colon image must be a JPEG or PNG. And then we can just end this for now and make sure that this is working. So if we hit new pin, we'll give it a title, description, and we can say, we'll upload the Nginx outer file. And it says image must be a JPEG or PNG. Now, if we switch over to this image I have right here, which you can see has an extension of type PNG, we can hit create pin and everything works fine. So now if we want to make sure that it's not null, um, well, right now we're just getting this error, which is, hey, you upload an image and then you're trying to access it inside the show page and that's not working. So the way to avoid this is just with the same method we used before, we'll just say else if image.attached is equal to false, then errors.add, we'll add it for the image and say, must have a must have an image attached so now if we refresh we give it a verb and a word and we don't attach an image then it'll say image must have an image attached obviously you'd want to reword this so must have or image must be attached or something must be at, or required image required Refresh, new pin, this and this, and then it just tells you image required. And that's pretty much it for the validation portion. There are some custom gems that you can use for this, but I feel like for most use cases, just creating this one method is probably fine. I don't really like to use an entire gem if it's just like this quick of a fix. And obviously you can change this to support, instead of images, you could do like, um, just an application and then like LibreOffice or PowerPoint or whatever, if you're using this for files. But uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And then I'll try to make a video to follow up on those if they spark a discussion that I feel can't just be answered in the comment section, like in this case. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.